Hi guys, welcome to the start of season seven. This is episode sixty-six. Um, I've done the off-season. Um, we'll uh, we'll 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 go through what happened um, in the off-season. We played some friendlies. I, I I got some against some you know bigish European teams to kind of test our metal for uh, when we get into the when they do the Europa League draw. So uh, pretty good all in all. Three straight wins, only one goal conceded, which is good. They um, have upgraded our stadium as well. Steve Dale, the chairman. Um, um, so we've got some more seats there. Our finances are looking pretty, pretty tasty. I've spent a fair bit, which um, which we'll go to in a minute and have a look at our transfers. So let's have a look. Players out. Uh, Bello, his contract ran out, and he wouldn't want to, didn't want to sign a, a new, a new contract. Uh, he played well in his first season, but he got that really bad injury, if you remember, and he was out for ten months. So, um, like Maxim Petier, Petier before him, um, gets a long injury and just essentially leeches off our club for it. Uh, Harvey McDonald, young midfielder, uh, had a bid come in here for him, three fifty, and I let it go. He wasn't really doing much for us, and at 22, I don't think it's going to get much better. Uh, we obviously know Sean Longstaff went to Watford. That was already arranged for 2.9. They are actually now down in League One, so he uh, he's dropped a bit there. And our final player out, a bit of surprise, Kingsley. Um, got a bid from West Brom, came in for him. And at 2.5 million we made a million on him he didn't play super great his stamina's low and he's 30 um so i kind of decided yep let's go let's let him go now players in we had morton um friendrup came in on a free he was already signed just a bit of a, a squad rotation player there um i do like him uh, as a player um then we got tim sierslebin 25-year-old German, uh, left-back, defensive mid midfielder. Gives us a bit of versatility there. Um, his work rate and teamwork aren't great. Um, but like I said, he's just a squad rotation. And we got him on a free from Wolfsburg, uh, where he played quite well for their reserve team there. Um, he was basically brought in just to, just to you know, give us some more options now that we're in Europe as well. Dejed Spence. Um, he's coming in on a Bosman from Doncaster. Um, I like him because he can play right and left side of defense. Um, so another kind of squad rotation player there to um, to just bolster bolster that up. Gives us that option on the bench um, so that I don't have to put a left back and a right back because, as you know, whenever I have the left back on the bench, the right back gets injured. Uh, we got Lewis Travis uh, then in from, from Burnley. Um, they made a nice little profit on him. He played really well last year in the championship, so um, although it did, I think Burnley actually got relegated. Um, no, they're in the championship last year as well. So anyway, we got him. He looks really good once again. The, we got him in, which is why I let Kingsley go. He can play in that right back position or anywhere across the central defence or defensive midfielder there. So another one there to bring into the club. Then we got. Donis, Jesus, Avid, yeah, this dude, uh, he came in from a Bosman, he left Motherwell where he's been killing it in the Scottish the Scottish leagues there, so uh, he's just a really good winger there, like he's dribbling, he's finishing, he's not super quick, um, but you know, once again, he's got good technique, flair, uh, he's going to just really bolster those wing positions where we were slightly weak last year. We also then got in Jermaine Frimpong. Um, five million from Celtic, another right back. Although he can play a lot further up, so um, he's fast. Um, yep, yeah, he's, he's fast. Good teamwork, good stamina though, so he can run all day. So I really like him as a player, and he's played well for Celtic. So he's come in. Then another Bosman we got was Frederick Winther, the Dane from um, Lingby, Lyingby. Sorry. Uh, he's played well for them. He's a decent player. 24. Stats in all the right spots. Positioning. Pa decent passing for a centre-back. Pace, marking, jumping, heading, strength, stamina. All those kind of things. Decent work, work rate technique. So he is a really good buy. Just to strengthen that defence at the back. 
And then our final one, which is our biggest signing, is Adam Holzek. Holoznik, something like that. The Czech winger. Now, once again, can play right and left. I like that about him. He's fast, great pace, good finishing. I think he's going to be a really, really good buy. 23 years of age. Um, so, we got him for $12.25 million from Watford, which was a big buy, but they obviously went down. And he is the biggest transfer that we've ever paid. And I think $23 million as well is the most that I have spent in a season on players. 11 13 yeah, it's not going to be this much down here. So, and I have a feeling if we look, yep, he is the most expensive player we've ever bought. So, that's interesting. Um, Reserve-wise, we've transfer listed a few people. Sandro, he's not going to make the cut. Jozo Simeonic as well now, he's 31, um, he's unhappy. So, Gurdjic as well, didn't play well. So he's been listed. Jobson as well. Once again, another bit of a flop. Hopefully he goes. Uh, Oli Krapinen has... Karpinen. I keep calling him Krapinen. Has actually been um, transfer listed as well. He wants first team football. He's not going to play anymore now that we've got Orlando Gill as well. So there's the reserves. And Bato as well. He has been transfer listed. So hopefully those players have all got people interested with them apart from adam rose no one wants him but he's not going to get into the squad i don't think um so that's how we sit at the moment we got cameron well, sorry connie and connie boyce clark we had him on loan a couple of seasons ago and then southampton bought him annoyingly so we've then put him on loan again so we picked him up just for another backup goalkeeper but West Ham have put a bid in for him. I don't want to lose him again because I think he's a really good young goalkeeper. So we're going to put a bid in for him as well. So we're thrashing that one out as well. Uh, Orlando Gill is looking pretty good. Um, got his first cap for Paraguay as well. Um, I don't know why Calvin Phillips is unhappy. I haven't actually had a bid in for him. Interesting. But Seth Vanderberg had a bid in from Wrexham. And I rejected that, and so he cracked it. And Neil Kilkenny is unhappy at the sale of Kingsley. But apart from that, the squad is pretty good. Um, competitions, what happened? Did we have a World Cup? No, we didn't. I think we had the European... Uh, no, international... European Championships. <clears throat> it's won by Portugal for the third year in a row, which is crazy, crazy. England, I don't even think they actually qualified no they did not qualify from their um their european squat squat spot <laughs> their european um group Tyrese john jules god he looks good he is oh no he's not i thought he was um jermaine defoe's regen because he's dominican but anyway right Fixtures. Sheffield United, first off the bat. Let's get into that. Um, we got a pretty good record against them. So let's go Gill. Boyce Clark on the bench. Gavoy is suspended. So I'll bring Connell in at left back. Spence on the back. We'll go uh, right back. We'll, be, we'll go Travers. Travis at right back. Um, I'm going to go Creed. Vanderberg's morale. It's superb. He still should play. Calvin Phillips. I don't know why these guys all of a sudden want to leave. We still got Wijnaldum. He is 34. He'll have to be managed um, <clears throat> there to see how he goes up in the middle with him. We're going to have uh, Rafael Vega, who had a pretty good season last year. Um, out on the left, then, we're going to have Donis. I think with that dude on the right, Adam, we should call him Adam, and then up front, Sorgar. I have been looking for another striker, so there are some rumblings there, as I'm not sure Mahamadou Fowl is going to cut it. Hopefully, he proves me wrong. Anyway, with Fowl on the bench, along with Trebelli, Freidrup, Kenny, Winther. There we are. There it is. Captain... Who's my usual captain? It's Oliver Creed. That's right, of course, the 22-year-old. Looking for a good season from him. He's hasn't averaged over seven apart from that one season there uh, in a first season in the Premier League. So I'm hoping he can push forward. Otherwise, we could have some issues there. Right, let's get out there and get going against Sheffield United. 
you know, number eight, mate. Let's kick it off. Oh, sorry, I have the commentary speed very fast for the friendlies. I do that every single year. Anyway. I've got a good feeling about this year. I like the players we've brought in. We we have spent big, um, which is good, and I feel we can get in. Is that uh, Donis? Yep. Um, so I feel like we can we can really really push. And obviously, as I say that, they score. Um, not too concerned about the league cup. I will probably play a reserve team for the League Cup as we've now won it. So I don't want to bring in the thigh injury and Adam has a thigh injury as well. So let's get both of them off for Trebelli and Friendrup. Friendrup. Um, <clears throat> so League Cup. I'm going to try and concentrate really on the FA Cup. Obviously the Europa, the Europa League as well. Um... And I obviously want to as well um, qualify for Europe again. I'd like to qualify for Europe again through the league this time, um, not just by winning a cup. I mean that'd be great as a backup, but I'd you know I'd like to to go a little bit higher. Pretty even here at uh, Bramall Lane. It's probably going to peter out for a one all draw by the looks of it. Oh, we had a penalty turned down in the final seconds of the game. You're kidding me. Clark made a sliding tackle but took the man rather than the ball. <gasps> we should have had a penalty for that. We That should have been a penalty. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Alright, well, a draw to begin with. I am going to complain about the referee. They back the referee. Mm, I don't know. The <clears throat> commentary says different. Right, we've got Leicester in four days' time. Oh, West Ham have given up on Quinn and Boyce Clark. That's good. I'd like to just keep him on loan, just see how he goes for the season. Because I have a feeling if I've got to sign him, it'll have to be as like an important first team player. Otherwise, he won't want to come in. Um, and. We can go from there with him. Half decent start to the season. Sheffield United aren't a pushover team and away from home. So, you know, um, Fowler. He's been getting some caps for the other 18s, which is good. i um, been impressed with him. Um, McClelland, Northern Irish. Uh, yep, yep. Vandenberg. I say this is going to be his first cap. Yeah, it could be. Frederick Winther, yep, could be his first cap. Benny Harling, yep. And Donis for the Kosovo squad against San Marino. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is, you know, it's it's seven seasons in. It's been a uh, been a long slog. Uh, do I want to buy him for three million? I'd like, ooh, I'd like to just keep him on loan for the season. I think then I could miss out on him. You know what? Let's let's just take him. Let's just take him, secure him there, so that someone else doesn't come in for him and buy him. Um, we'll we'll get him. I do need a, a another backup goalkeeper. Um, I can't rely on Fowler as he's only eighteen. Um, yeah, so let's let's get him in. It gives us another uh, another goalkeeper. I uh, put him down to squad rotation. Actually, that's fair. Good stuff. Also, as well, we're still semi-professional. I don't think that's ever going to change. Um, yep, good, good. I don't know why he's un unhappy. Kingsley was not that good, and the players we've brought in are a lot better, Gavin. <clears throat> These two I'm a bit worried about. Unhappy that he's not allowed to move clubs, and as well with Calvin Phillips. Um, hopefully, sometimes they, that, that just 
goes away. Hopefully it will just go away with them because I really, really don't want to sell either of them. The only one I would be tempted to sell would possibly be... Uh, well, I, I could be persuaded to sell both of them, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> Vanderberg, I mean, I've got McCormack there, who you can see just above him. He's really progressed, and now we've got Winther in. Um, so I'd, I'd, I'd be open to selling him. Uh, Calvin Phillips... Um, Calvin Phillips, he's 29, he's not going to get any better, so um, maybe at the end of this year he could go, um, could be an option to go, I mean, we'll see, we'll see, if I got a big bid in maybe for one of them, uh, at the, maybe, I'd only sell one of them now, um, and we could try and get in someone on loan or just a pinch of signing. In Delap. Yeah, he's pretty nice. Wow. Delete. To Sheffield United. He's on my short list. He is now because he is quality. He's really, really good. Right, Tete, who is it? No, no, Donetsk. Porto got a really small squad. They do have a B team, I guess. Anyway, League Cup. First round. We won't enter that, I don't think, until like the third round or something. Because we're in Europe. Oh, yeah. Europe. When is that going to be? Uh, in Champions League qualifying round schedule. So the first round is the 11th of September. Um, where are we? We're a seeded team, so that's good. So hopefully that's. Not 100% sure what that means. I have to register the squad as well. All exciting times here at Bury in Europe. It's a good stuff. It's taken taken six years, but we've we've got into Europe as our first kind of you know. And as I said a couple of videos ago, we have been improving quite well each year. Um, you know. That first year was tough, but it was basically not getting relegated and shifting out all those dud players. Uh, and a Connell player. He played an eight. Really good, but Cavoy is a lot better, as we can see. Um, yeah, see, McCormack's got some decent stats here. I'm going to drop him back down to the reserves, though, just to keep that there. And... Did Frimpong not play? No, he didn't. How did Travis play? He got a six. Let's put Frimpong at the back there, and let's put Travis on the bench ahead of Kilkenny. Um, other than that, I'm pretty happy. Let's go with that. At home to Leicester. Uh, Leicester are, like, really, really good in this. Like, if we have a look... Um, the... <clears throat> really, like they haven't been lower than fourth the whole time we've been doing this, so um, they're a really good team. But oh, Adam getting offside that would have been a really, really good start. But yeah, Leicester have an absolute stonking team. Although, goalkeeper this year is not as good because they have they've let Kasper Schmeichel go, who has been, you know. Their stalwart goalkeeper. They got some good players here. Sonyuku, Sonyuku, I think that's how you say it. He's good. Max Aaron. We know how good this squad is. I'm not going to look at their players because that means they're going to score against us. And it has been all Leicester at the moment. We have not really troubled their defence at all, which is not good. But it's we go on a half time. And Orlando Gill is playing out of his skin. Wish the others could play out of their skin. That would be handy. And there you go. Ben Chilwell putting Leicester in the lead. <sighs> Losing to Leicester now. They've got Griezmann as well. It's quite old. Yeah, there he is. Oh, Antonio Griezmann. 34. It's not very good though, actually. Um... A loss here is going to make our um, a 
a loss here is going to make that one all draw to Sheffield United look like a poor result. Um, but, like, uh, come on, we're starting to get a few more shots on target now. Goalkeeper is playing amazingly, which is good. But Lester are still pumping it in. Jesus, Gill is playing out of his skin. Vandenberg's playing well, as is Calvin Phillips. I think we'll be lucky. Yes, go oh, Cavoy! Cavoy! Let's um let's let's push. Let's push forward. Let's try and get a win here in the last couple of minutes. Let's not shut it down. Come on, come on. Oh, final whistle. Actually, that's not too bad in the end. Leicester were absolutely dominant. Um Creed still with a six, Frimpong a six. So two draws. Not great. A draw against Leicester. I'm happy with that. Um, we now have West Ham, Newcastle, and Chelsea. Hopefully, oh, that's the Champions League. That's not us yet. But hopefully it will be. Oh, United pumping Shakhtar. 8-1 on aggregate. That is a thumping. Thumping. Oh, right, we've we've got a win here at West 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 Ham. Um, if we really want to kick on with our season, there's a good come from behind draw against Berry against um, Liverpool. New record high. Oh, Portsmouth have come in for my left back, two and a half million. Um, no, he's indispensable to the club. Don't crack it. Good stuff. Let's have a look here. How are we playing? Frimpong. Mm, 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 mm. Don't need to make any changes just yet, I think. But what I do think I want to do actually is take. Um, where is he? Morton off the bench and put in uh, either Blanco or. Or Walsh. Let's drop Walsh down to the reserves. Give Blanco a shot. Just a bit more attacking there. Oops. And that also gives me one screen. So I don't have to scroll. I feel like we've got a good squad here. It's quite solid. Well balanced. Um, Alright. There's the qualifying second leg. Um, over. Hopefully... The draw should be made soon for that. So, we'll let's get the West Ham game out the way. We'll do the draw for Europa League. And that will probably be the episode. I say probably that will be the episode. Come on, just processing here. I'm excited about being in Europe. I hope you guys are as well. Um, it's the uh, natural progression for the club. Yep, yeah, we would we would definitely be interested in him. Not that we could actually get him at all, but whatever. Oh, that'll be good against yeah, West Ham. That'll nicely round out the season. Oh, Tottenham winning the Super Cup because I think Barcelona actually did win the Champions League. Yeah, they won the Champions League, and uh, and Tottenham won the Europa League, which would be a nice. To see. Sneaky little trophy for us to win this year. I really want to do well in Europe. I think putting putting our little little stamp on Europe will be um, will do wonders for the club, wonders for reputation, um, and hopefully then we can get some of those. Um, you know, I mean, we we haven't done too badly in signing players, but it, there was still a bit where some players are rejecting us. Um, I've got a bid in for Hodges here. Interesting. 30 on winger Gershon Rodriguez of FK Nisni. Mm, no, he's crap. Ah, Joe Hodges. No, no. Uh, 
Ah, this is something as well, just a tip here. If a cl other club come in for one of your sc scouts, coaches, physios, you don't want them to leave. Um, you just offer them a new contract and just bump it up slightly. They should, I mean, unless you want the money. Go and look for another one. It's up to you. Right, West Ham. So everyone's good here. Vega is on 96%, actually. Let's get him off. Um, let's start Blanco then, and that'll give... Um, a bit more to the bench there. Cool, cool. I think I'm happy with that. West Ham, we've never beaten them. That's, hopefully we can change that today. They've just come up at the London Stadium. They have a fairly decent team. They've got Isia Dorp. He's pretty damn good. Kyle Walker. Marcus Rashford, obviously. And West Ham have scored straight away. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. We are starting to get some more shots in. But we just can't find the back of the net. Sorga has not scored in two and a half games as of yet. That is not a good start. That's not what I want from my main striker not good what we need here is a loss to West Ham who are slowly turning into our bogey team to take the gloss of the heart gloss off the hard and draw against Leicester Wijnaldum he's not playing that well all right both my midfielders Let's do that. Hopefully we can just all West Ham. Still claret at the moment. Come on. Get in Sorga. First goal of the season. One more. Let's get one here at the at the end. Just to get our first win. That'll be great. Jesus. Oh. It was offside. I was lost. Oh, no. I need to just beat West Ham. The crap. Oh. Well, this is a disappointing start to the season. Two draws and a loss. Really, really disappointing. It's, it's very, very frustrating, actually, because I, we should have beaten Sheffield United and West Ham then. Yes, we're away from home, but... God, Liverpool. What a game yet. Oh, me being all like, oh yeah, you know, like I think this is going to be a great season, and boom. Alright guys, um, I don't know when the draw for the Europa League is, we'll just try and shoot forward to Monday, see if it happens there. But Everton topping the table. Hopefully, we can turn results around. I mean, it's not, you know... It's only three games in. It's a long season, but it's just that, um, you know, I don't want to start badly because we'll continue badly. Last season we started badly, and um, and it really, really hampered us that season. So, mm. <clears throat> All right, guys, we've got the Europa League first round draw today. Let's have a look at the draw. Ooh, we should do the fast draw, but we'll uh, we'll take it nice and slow. Build the suspense. Oh, we missed Chelsea. That's good. Very. Ooh, oh, my God. <sighs> Bella de Lloyd. Oh, that's Shamrock Rovers. Right, uh, draw all teams. Good, good, good. Where are we? At home. Hmm. 
Ballad of the Loaded. That's uh that's an interesting one. Hmm. There, there are no pushovers. Um, how have they been doing the last few seasons? Domestic leagues. Yeah, so they got relegated and they finished sixth last year. So, mm, that is a tough first round draw for us. All right, guys, we're going to end the episode there. Um, not a super duper great start to the season. Hopefully, we can push on though against Newcastle, oh God, Newcastle, Chelsea, Swansea, Wolves, and we've got the Europa League game. So, don't forget to leave a comment. Like it as well. That'll be good. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get up-to-date content. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.